All right, right now it is a pretty nice evening. Temperatures have started to come down. It's mild in the city at 59 degrees. Most other locations are already almost in the 40s. 50 degree dew point humidity is at 72%, so it almost has a little bit of a damp feel and a wind light out of the northwest at three miles an hour now. Low 50s on the North Shore and even away from the city. You look at 67 degrees at lakefront. Gulf water or lake water temperatures are still in the upper 70s, and so you get away from the lake 50 degrees at Bell Chase and lower 50s down the bayou and river parishes and dew points in the 40s and low 50s. And I think with the clear skies, lighter winds and low humidity, we will see the temperatures come down maybe a degree or two even lower than they were this morning to start the day on Tuesday morning. It's this deep upper trough that brought in that fall feel. And thankfully, the weather this entire week and going into the weekend, very pleasant. If you don't like the chill to the air, it'll be a little bit milder by the end of the week and weekend. But never are we going to see a really warm day this week or a muggy day this week. We will be a little warmer by the end of the week, but actually by the end of the week, high temperatures back to more seasonal lows or more seasonal highs. The chill has really not affected much of the nation in terms of the core of the cold. It has stayed well to our north. 30s and 40s across the high plains and the Great Lakes. This isn't bad for a mid October day for those folks and us in the 50s is also not bad. This is the deep upper trough that brought in that chilly weather. Now that's going to leave and we will see another upper trough that brings in another front by Thursday into Friday. This one, however, won't be quite as chilly. It'll bring our temperatures back down a couple of degrees, but not dramatically so heading into this weekend. And so I think by Saturday and Sunday highs around 79, 80 degrees or so, but it will help to keep the humidity low as we continue beyond next week or by beyond this coming weekend. We'll likely start seeing an upper ridging build in and that will likely lead to a warmer stretch of weather. Now for the next seven days, I'm not calling us warm, mild, low 80s as we head toward Friday and the weekend, but that's seasonal for this time of the year. Beyond our seven day forecast, it is looking like with an upper ridge setting up, we will likely start to see a maybe prolonged period of above normal temperatures. So looking forward, no real other cool downs coming. So after we leave, leave this uh, or lose this taste of fall over the next couple of days, we'll probably see a bit of a warming trend going forward. Deep upper trough also brought in some precip precipitation, including some snow across parts of the Appalachians. Nothing like that here. We're just enjoying our chilly weather, which will last for the next couple of mornings. We'll have the 40s and 50s, but gradually getting back to the lower 80s toward the end of the week. Quick check of the tropics. Two areas out in the eastern Pacific at the moment. No active storms in the Atlantic Basin. Still watching what is Invest 94. This one has been Invest 94 going back to late last week. Still has a high percent chance of development. Most of the models indicate could affect the islands and then probably dissipating somewhere over the open Atlantic. Looking at the season so far, it has been active, but most of our storms thankfully stayed out over the open Atlantic waters with very few really impacting land directly. And this season, it has been very quiet in both the Gulf and the Caribbean. Sometimes the seasons are like that. One particular part of the basin tends to be a little bit more of a focus, either the central Atlantic, sometimes it's more of the Caribbean or the Gulf, sometimes it's all along the East Coast. Thankfully, this season, the Gulf of Mexico has been pretty quiet. And with more fronts, upper troughs on the way, that pretty much puts an end to our hurricane season. 72 degrees are high tomorrow, 40s and 50s both tomorrow and Wednesday morning, gradually back into the upper 70s, low 80s, but that's seasonal, so that's normal for this time of year. That'll take us right into early next week and then likely a warming trend later into next week.